The history of America can be seen through the eyes of baseball. The story of the famous 1910 poem, Tinker to Evers to Chance, was about infielders Joe Tinker, Johnny Evers, and Frank Chance, one of the greatest double play combinations in National League history. Author of a book of the same name, David Rapp tells the tale about these three men, now iconic sports figures, came together from different backgrounds and parts of the country to form what began the grassroots of modern Chicago baseball. Each of these three guys, Joe Tinker, Johnny Evers, and Frank Chance, came from a different part of the country. They grew up in different regions of the country in the 1880s and 1890s when sports and play was looked down upon by a very much a Victorian Protestant society. Johnny Evers is from Troy, New York, an industrial town on the Hudson River. He's the grandson of an Irish immigrant who came over from Ireland in the 1840s, penniless and without a job prospect. And his son, John Evers Sr., became an ironmonger in Troy, where they built these world-famous iron stoves that went all over the world. John Sr. was uh, hooked up with the union of the time, the Ironmongers Union, but also with the local Democratic machine run by a guy named Charles Murphy, another Irish Paul. And John Ever Sr. kind of grew up in the ranks of the political scene in Troy to become the superintendent of public schools. Troy was an amazing baseball town. Troy Haymakers were the, essentially the predecessors of the New York Giants. When the Troy Haymakers was folded, Four or five of their best players went to the new New York team, and that's why they were called the Giants of the Troy team, and the Giants became the nickname of the New York Giants. And then Frank Chance from Fresno, California, each of his parents came across the country by covered wagon on the Oregon Trail as kids. That whole Oregon Trail culture, that migrant culture that infused California at the time came down to him in his uh, as, as essentially the, the scion of that period. So his will to win was unmatched by any man, woman, or child alive then and probably now. He was just an indomitable force in baseball, and he has the nickname the peerless leader for that reason. Joe Tinker grew up in Kansas City. It was a western boom town at the time. Joe was another interesting story. He was uh, born of an unwed mother in a little east Kansas town called Muscoda. And she was shamed out of town, essentially, and ended up in Kansas City and hooked up with a guy named Tinker. And they raised Joe in a town, like I said, that was just then beginning to create parks and playgrounds for kids to play in. And so baseball became his sport from day one. And then he went off and started playing in the minor leagues. First Denver, uh, and then up into Montana, and then ultimately Portland. But his nickname in Montana was Pretty. So he was very popular, ended up as a vaudeville actor, first in uniform, and then after that, he was a, a real showman in his own way. The Cubs of this era illustrate what was going on in the United States at the time, the changes that were taking place culturally, morally. Baseball, which had grown into a thug's game in the 1890s, led to the creation of the American League, based in Chicago, by a guy named Ben Johnson, the founder, who wanted to create what he called a clean game, as opposed to the dirty game of the National League. American League was very successful. In fact, the White Sox started outdrawing the Cubs in Chicago. So the National League had to respond, and they did. Fortunately, they had a team in Chicago led by a manager by the name of Frank Seeley playing a clean game of baseball. For his contributions to baseball, Ban Johnson was inducted to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1937. The rivalry between the North Side and the South Side continues today between the White Sox and the Cubs, birthed out of the creation of the American League. As for Tinker, Evers, and Chance, the poem now known as Baseball's Sad Lexicon, that story was credited with their eventual Hall of Fame induction as well and the start of one of the most famous eras in Chicago history. U.S. History Through the Eyes of Baseball, brought to you by AmericanInnings.org.